Okay. Y'all got y'all. Whoa, whoa, what y'all got y'all? Yeah, we're recording right now, so come on out. What's going on? We got the camera. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on out. Tell you, all right. Come on out. Oh no, 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 Somerville, South Carolina. Come on, get out of the car. What, what, no, I ain't car. getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. Well, we're about now. to tell you what's tell going you. on. Come on no, out. No, bro. What, what, what's going on? What's going on is that the Somerville police made an unlawful stop and are now about to commit assault. If, if, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me this go. This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're, get the As the body camera falls, Officer Robert Baranu pulls Timothy Miles by the neck, choking him. Oh, oh, get out. Officer Baranu then punches Mr. Miles in the face. I just left my baby, my grandson's house. What's going on? Somebody punched me in my face. Hey, bro. Oh, Johnny, what's going on? The video of this incident from August 2020 was first revealed and reported on by the Lackluster Channel. Now, the interaction is at the heart of a federal lawsuit. You going down for that one? For real? On oh, everything, you going down. If it take my life, you going down. For choking me, you going down. Timothy Miles says the Somerville police used unlawful, excessive force, and violated his civil rights. Legal experts call the lawsuit exceptionally strong. All of this began on August 20th, 2020, when the Somerville, South Carolina police attempted at that house what is known as a controlled delivery, the delivery of a package containing contraband. It has to... Um, Somebody's got to grab it and bring it in. Yeah, the police were supposed to watch the package containing drugs and arrest whoever takes it in. But the police lost sight of the package at the same time they spotted Timothy Miles leaving the residence. Officer Robert Baranu and several other cops followed Mr. Miles and soon initiated a traffic stop. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. One of the officers said, we know what you picked up back there. I want well, to touch you. Know, Come on. However, Mr. Miles had no idea what the officers were talking about. The residence was not his, belonged to a relative he was visiting, and Mr. Miles was not expecting a delivery. Get out of the car. What, what, no, I ain't and at this time, the package was still at the residence where the officers had left it. What's going on? All right, let me record car. this. Okay. Y'all got y'all. Whoa, whoa, what y'all got y'all? Yeah, we're recording right now, so come on out. What's going on? We got the camera out. Car. Yeah, come on out. I'll tell you, all right? Come on out. Oh, no, 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 no. Without giving any explanation, the officers tell Mr. Miles to get out. Well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't why? get out, you're about That's to get okay. ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a back problem. Don't rip me out. I'm of the not car. trying to do that. So well, come on out. On, come on out. out. We'll explain we're it to you. We're gonna tell you, dude. Come on, step out of the car. If, if, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let the Supreme Court has ruled that police can require a driver to get out of their vehicle if they've been lawfully pulled over, but Mr. Miles had not broken any laws or committed any traffic violations. Let uh, me this go. This is your last bro. chance, man. No. Cause you're Get the f out. First, Officer Baranu grabbed Mr. Miles by the arm and neck. Oh, oh, get out. Then the cops started throwing punches. What's going on? I just left my baby, my grandson's house. What's going on? Somebody punched me in my face. Hey, bro. Oh, oh Johnny, what's going on? What's going on? Who punched me in my face? That shit hurt, man. That shit hurt. Moments later, with Timothy Miles under arrest, one of the officers tells the others they need to go back to the residence and look for the package they planted. At the house? Yeah, we need to go there now. If the package has not been touched, the police have nothing. No reason to pull Mr. Miles out of his car or even stop him. They lost sight of the box, yeah. and this car left. We stopped it. He didn't want to get out. We had to extract him. It's not there. Soon after, one of the police spotters says the box is still sitting on the porch where the officers left it. It's still on the porch. At this point, the officers tell Mr. Miles he will be charged with resisting. Even though there was no probable cause to stop or hold him, and the package is exactly where the police left it. 
Somebody's got to grab it and bring I'll, it in. Yeah, ask, ask Jamie uh, if that's good enough for us to go in. And, uh, well, somebody has to grab it, right? Somebody has to take possession of it. Police then call in a canine to sniff Mr. Miles' car and see if there's a reason to search it and justify the arrest they've already made. We'll get a dog, get a dog, because right now he's going to say no. I mean, we'll, he didn't pick up the package. So let's get a dog to make sure there's probable cause that we search the car. I mean, I already pumped the trunk for safety, but... I'll get 8-7 in route. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mr. Miles addresses Officer Baranu. You afraid you can't. With all this shit on, you real afraid to be punching on choking people and shit, man. You wrong. I'm gonna tell you something. And mark my word. If you don't stop, God gonna get you, bruh. I'm for real now. If you don't slow down and do right, God gonna get you, man. I'm for real, bruh. I don't care how much hatred you have against me. You hate him. When you hate me, you hate God too, bruh. I'm telling you now. We, we might be different, but deep down inside, we the same motherfucking color flipping. For real, I don't care what going on or what you think of, of conspiracy, my nigga. On, on some real, you had no business choking and pulling on me like that. I would have complied only if you'd have let me know what the f was going on. I come out my yard, everybody swarming me and punching me and throwing me on the ground. That's ruthless, that's thuggish. And y'all called us mother up. You had no business choking me, bruh. That brought back a lot of flashbacks, bruh. The dog then arrives, sniffs Mr. Miles' car, and finds nothing. The police then hear that other cops back at the residence have retrieved the package, terminating the entire operation. Hey, they secured the box. Huh? They secured it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to go the box, we're going to go and search this, and anything else we find here. Despite the total absence of reasonable, articulable suspicion or probable cause, and despite Mr. Miles' refusal to let the police search his car, the officers do it anyway. They allegedly found an empty plastic bag and claimed it smelled like marijuana. Mm. There are no police or court records indicating that Timothy Miles was actually charged with anything. An ambulance eventually took him to a nearby hospital where he was treated for abrasions and cuts, including one under his eye. Then Mr. Miles was released. A week later, after the Somerville police received a complaint about this incident and reviewed the body camera footage, Officer Robert Baranu was fired. Nearly a year after that, Baranu was charged with third-degree assault and battery. And while that covers his punching and choking of Timothy Miles, it doesn't look like any other officers have been disciplined or punished for the unlawful stop, the violent removal of Mr. Miles from his car, and the outrageous effort to find probable cause for everything afterwards. There also does not appear to be much department fallout for the Keystone cops losing track of the package they were supposed to be watching, a package that Timothy Miles and his family members never touched. Timothy Miles' civil rights lawsuit may take a while to play out, but legal experts say the end is obvious. The city of Somerville, South Carolina is going to have to pay out, and any judgment or settlement, say the experts, could reach over a million dollars. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.